Yeah, Mike, Kristen, despite having final exams in front of them, these students, the demonstrators behind me, appear dedicated to their cause. They tell me that Mayor Ed Ganey's office has indicated to them they have until Friday to clear Shenley Plaza. The question is, though, will they leave then? We will figure that out when we get there. Um, we are going to hold the space. We're going to occupy the space. Um, and as uh, a coalition and a community, we're going to decide what the safest and most ethical practice will be for us. But as of right now, the plan is Friday. We've yet to hear back from the mayor's office, but a university spokesperson told our partners at the trip at the trip that Pitt embraces the right of demonstrators to protest and that administrators asked the crowd to move from the cathedral lawn to a more suitable location here in the plaza. And that is where these students remain, just off campus where Palestinian flags and banners are surrounding a camp of tents. Organizer Cameron Gray tells us they want the university to divest from any investments associated with Israel and for Pitt to acknowledge the situation in, Ga in Gaza as a, quote, genocide. Now, this protest has remained calm and peaceful, but others like this across the country have been scrutinized for featuring what's been perceived as anti-Semitic rhetoric. Critics also say the term Zionist, which has been invoked derisively in chants and on banners at these protests across the country, is really just code for Jew. Now, Cameron is Jewish, and they reject the notion that Zionist equates to Jew. And they told us about a Seder they held here just last night for Passover. We actually had something called a Liberation Seder, um, where we kind of rethink Passover. The One of the practices of Passover is that it's a restful day um, where you can lounge and relax and spend that time with people. Um, but this is not a time where many people can rest and it is not a time where people have that luxury. So we are talking about freedom and liberation and what that means for people who are not freed and liberated. Again, no incidents of violence to report here in Shenley Plaza. Things, by all accounts, have remained calm and peaceful. As we get closer to that apparent Friday deadline, we will keep you apprised of any and all updates. We're live from Shenley Plaza tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News.